I am Master Jambai. Welcome to this new part of Grim vs. The Wall. Today it's Grim vs. Sasha. I hope you guys will enjoy. This series is all about me picking Grim, the worst CEO in the game, and trying to defeat some higher tier. So this is a casual game, and I really hope in this series I will get more than one win. So far I only had one victory, and I think right now we are at episode 8, and the series is almost over. I say that because I won't fight tier 4 seals with Grim. Because this will take away part of the magic. Now, with everything being said, let's go over to both CEOs. Sasha! Receive plus 100 income per property. Note that labs and tower do not count toward this. So it's only HQ, airport, port, base, cities. Market crash reduce enemy power bars by 10% per 5,000 funds for two stars, which is good because it it adds it has a lot of synergy with her day to day. Her super war bonds receive funds equal to 50% of the damage dealt when attacking enemy units. Now, I don't know if this works the same way as Dual Strike. I barely see it. But in Dual Strike, when you counterattack, which means when you are the defender, you also earn money. Now, it's small amount, because usually when you counterattack, your unit deals less damage. Anyway, outside of that, I do believe she should get some kind of buff to make her super better, but this is my thing. Now, Grim, you did gain 30% attack but lose 20% defense, so his units are melting, they are trash, they won't last long. Your unit count will suffer. Knuckle Buster, all unit attack is increased to 50% for 3 stars. A maker, all units attack is increased to 80% for 6 stars. Now, let's go over to the play, the game, the commentary. As usual, let's be very fast on the first few turns. Walking around. We have similar uh, openings. Now she goes for Recon. I keep having infantries. A Recon opening is actually OP against Grim because Grim has weaker defense. So take a look. Bow, 1 HP. Now my infantry is useless. It's already starting to go downhill from here. Capture trap. Now I have a lot of artillery because I am poor. This map has low budget, so I did. I do think this map favors a lot Sasha when I take a look at it. Uh, like with lower funds, Sasha gets stronger because of her early game advantage. Capture, first try. Another recall because I'm poor, I don't have money. And look, she has her first tank out, and next turn I will have my first tank out, but I am player one, I should be the first one that has a tank. But this is Sasha we are talking about. So this is normal. Sasha will usually take up faster than you. Capture, 
capture first strike kill shell uh, you see usually this formation is really good you will see if right now it is as good as it should let's see let's see first strike almost killed it and I'm only building keep that in mind Meg are trash but I am Meg uh, I am dream so yeah Paul Paul look this is crazy I received so much damage, it's crazy. Kill. Kill damage. Kill. 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 Damage. Now this is risky because I am green. I can destroy wall without any true challenge. So uh, exposing the artillery over there, it's risky, like a lot. It's not really good. Let's see how it goes. First strike, first strike, first strike. Now I think I rolled low. Let's pull up the damage calculator because I'm curious to see. Okay. I am Grim and I don't have any tower because we don't have any tower. So damage calculator. Maybe it's because it's a forest. But I think I rolled low. Yeah, I really rolled low because 39 means you can uh, kill something if you did chip damage before. So this means I did the uh, perfect 40 the first strike. So this means I probably low rolled twice actually. So technically speaking that infantry should die. But hey, I am grim so sometimes uh, my extra firepower is not truly felt. But my weaker defense is always felt. This is so sad and unfair. Why? Uh, so yeah, let's keep going here. That map is really small, and now he gets a mech, a bowcopter. Take a look. She has the money to take up, and I'm poor. This is grim story against Sasha. It's just crazy. Join cap. First strike, first strike. Now I use Knuckle Buster at the end of my turn. Because I know it's Sasha and she will probably shut down my power. So I want the extra firepower and defense. So my punch attack will be better. And my defense will be increased as well because of the power buff. Look at that. If I didn't add that power buff. My infantry would have went poof elsewhere. Paradise of the infantry. So now do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you see how bad Grim is? Do you understand why I uh, inflict myself so much pain for your entertainment? Now, usually I do this at the end of videos, but just subscribe. Show me you like Advanced Wars content and show me, like, yo, just show me. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, this is violent. At that point, I knew I lost, but 
I knew this would be episode 8, so I was like, maybe, maybe I will try, and maybe we will keep going, and oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. And now I'm too lazy to switch team, because I know the game is almost over anyway. So now he shoot down my unit, no more tank. Now at that point, she should have figured out I had an artillery over there. Maybe she knew and she didn't care because she knew she won. I really don't know. Anyway, now at that point I have a small part of hope. I am hopeful. I am like, oh, that juicy tank will die. Maybe I can come back in the race. Maybe it's not too late for me. Look. I am grim. I should be able to one-shot these artillery on planes and road, but Grim is trash, so I did not one-shot it. Now, if I had a Cup Tower, it could be a one-shot, but this implies that Grim is not strong enough. No, no, no. And I do think if Grim would be at forty percent attack instead of thirty, uh, thirty. Yes, it would have twice higher firepower, but that doesn't mean it would be, like, amazing. It would be much better. I think 40% firepower Grim, Whiteout Towers, is probably tier 2. Maybe if I eyeball him, he's tier 1. But I do think he's very fair. The issue here is to find that 30% may be good, but it's not enough because otherwise more people would play him and win with him. Now most seals just destroy him, even in tier 4. Grim is a very hard seal to play. And as you can see, my unit count is suffering at that point, so I'm already lost. If your opponent has a better unit count than you as Grim, you lost most of the time. It's rare you will come back because Grim is not meant for comeback, he is meant to win fast. If he can't, he lost. Now he's just mobbed the floor with my troops. It's a blood back. Kill, kill, damage, kill, kill, kill. Now I have hope. I'm like, I will try my best to shoot down that boat and maybe HQ cap him. Now, take a look at that juicy super. Now, I think she used her super to give me chance or just to humiliate me. I don't know. Male, male, if. You see this video, tell me, what was the reason why you used your super? Now, I'm not saying she has a bad super, I'm just surprised. Usually, people spam the power. I do think the super can be really helpful and really good. In tier 1, she has the weakest super, but... With her day-to-day, -day, that, that's very strong. And she can indeed have a really good super if she can deal good damage. Now, let's see if it was worth it. Now, she's at 73... Uh, what am I saying? She's at 21k. Damage. Ooh. Damage. Ooh. Now, she earned 4k. Is good. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Not only she killed a lot of my unit, but she gained money. So, this was a really good super, in my own opinion. She earned roughly 10k. So this means she took away 20k from me. So this is really good. She actually got 30k value. 
it's a bit more than global damage. No, it's not as good because global damage affect everything. And in this specific case, she only affected what she could hit. But this is similar in numbers. She gained 10k and she took away 20. So when I say her super is underrated, this is what I'm talking about. Now I guess any other seal she would have gotten less value because the other seal have more toughness, more defense. So this means she deals less damage. Now, any other seal add 20% the value you lost. So in my case, I lost 20k. So I would probably earn like 4k. Just decent. And she would probably have uh, lost 20% of the funds she earned, so she would probably be around 8k gain. That's still a very good super 8k gain and taking away 16, so 24. Now I am really bad at math, so maybe I miscalculated somewhere, but regardless. That was a good turn for her, and now I knew I lost, but I still kept going for a few turn. Kill, 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 kill. There's nothing I can do. I lost. And now uh, I resigned because there's no way I can uh, enter up that gap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new episode of Grim vs. The World. Now if you are wondering which uh, seal will be next, I really don't know. I'm currently playing a nail game that takes forever. Uh, I was recording like episode 4 I believe or 5 and I was still playing the nail game. Uh, we will see. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe. We will see each other in future videos. Have a great day.